Why has my half and half not gone bad after a month open in use? I'll admit I'm not a chemist, but I am a guy that's curious enough to dig into matters like these. So here's my take. There's something freakishly eternal about a carton of half and half that refuses to spoil. Is it a dairy magician casting a preservation spell inside your fridge? Or maybe it's just science and food engineering doing its thing. Firstly, consider how half and half is processed. Most dairy products you buy at the store are pasteurized or ultra pasteurized. Pasteurization involves heating the product to a specific temperature for a set period to kill most bacteria. Ultra pasteurization goes even further, zapping almost all living microorganisms and giving the product a much longer shelf life. This might be why your half and half is still kicking after a month. Also, dairy products have naturally occurring preservatives like lactic acid, which can inhibit the growth of harmful bacteria for a while. If you're keeping it refrigerated consistently, at or below 40 degrees Fahrenheit, you're giving it a fighting chance to last longer by slowing bacterial growth. But let's talk about that fridge of yours. Is it like Fort Knox for cold air? How often are you opening it, letting warm drafts waft inside? The less you open it, the more stable the temperature stays, and the longer your half and half can withstand the cruel passage of time. Think about the container too. Is it tightly sealed? If so, you're keeping additional airborne bacteria from crashing the creamy party inside that carton. Now here's the important part. Every carton of half and half has its tipping point, so please don't push your luck. Check for an off smell, a change in texture, or any separation. These are the telltale signs of dairy turning to the dark side. And let's be honest, no one wants to ruin a perfectly good cup of coffee with sour half and half. Remember we're dealing with probabilities here. You might just have gotten lucky with your dairy defying the norm. And for that, I tip my hat to you. But always play it safe when it comes to food safety. Trust your senses. If something about your half and half seems off, it very likely is. Lastly, are you sure it's actually half and half? You might have accidentally bought a coffee creamer that's more chemicals than cream, in which case its staying power is less miracle of nature and more science experiment. Though I can't fully explain the immortality of your half and half, I'd say it's a potent combination of modern food processing magic your refrigerator's diligence, and perhaps a sprinkling of luck.